What is up guys, Jeff Gaming here, welcome to the penultimate race of Season 1 in my F1 2016 career. It's the Brazilian Grand Prix, a firm favourite in the uh, F1 community. If you are new to my channel then do remember to subscribe to my uh, channel for obviously this career mode, league race highlights and a few other types of videos. In terms of this season we're having a very successful one if I do say so myself, 7th in a Renault and we're just about hit that 100 point mark we could do with a few points here. And yeah, this was new in my season. Sponsor bonus, an extra 300 resource points for the team. So that's absolutely brilliant. I don't know why we got that, if that's random or if uh, you guys have been receiving more. But uh, yeah, it's a nice addition. So in terms of this season, we can see the Manor have been upgrading their car. We can't at the moment as we have ceased R&D for the season. I think it's a sensible decision uh, for season two. And even in the rivalry, we're doing okay. We lost a few times to Julian Palmer a few uh, earlier on in the season. And now we're pretty even with Raikkonen. So let's see how we do in that. In terms of vehicle performance, we are down to 6th, that did happen in Mexico, but we're not that far behind Toro Rosso or Williams, and Williams are the aim in the Constructors' uh, Championship to beat them. But you can see we've had some fantastic form recently, second half of the season has been absolutely brilliant, and I can't believe there's only two races to go. This season has been so enjoyable, it's gone. Uh, through so quickly but we've all been having a great time so in qualifying it was one of them situations where it was wet at the start and then the track dried out but uh, yeah I decided not to do any wet running but uh, onto the dry tyres what is Rosberg doing completely wrecking my lap and there's a load of cars on intermediate tyres so I knew if I put in a solid lap on these dry tyres I would be near the front of the field and Rosberg blocks me twice so annoying it hasn't totally ruined my lap, but we have lost some time. And now coming to the line with our one and only lap of the session. We're getting a slipstream from Alonso ahead. It's pulling us along. Where are we going to end up? We should be near the top of the field. Engineer sounds happy. It's P5. So, yes, that's very good. Though we are the slowest of the dry tyre running. And, oh, my God, Esteban Gutierrez has got pole. That has his got pole position. Unbelievable scenes here. Hulkenberg and Button round out the top three. Who would have thought that? But, uh... Yeah, fifth place. I felt like we could have gone in the top three at least there. But Rosberg messed it up for us. But it's it's one of them qualifying sessions once again. We've got a mixed up grid. And yeah, there were a few grid penalties there. And there we go. Rosberg's got two penalties for illegal blocking. So I can only presume that was against me. So he definitely deserves them. And he'll be starting near the back. So yeah, this should be a very interesting race to tune into with all these penalties. And a mixed up grid and some rain on race day. Intermediate conditions. And it looks like it's going to be heavy rain in the second half the race so yeah it should be interesting to see how we do on the intermediates and probably on the wet tyres later on especially with the mixed up grid and with a Haas on pole can't believe I'm saying that so we're building up to the Brazilian Grand Prix for five lights and away we go we get a pretty good getaway and there's Vettel and the quicker cars behind us we're moving on up on Bottas here and Button so we're gonna try and go for the outside line here around the outside of the McLaren we make a bit of contact we turn in a little bit too early but we're okay no damage and now we're going three wide I think we're Button and he's hit us we're spinning round into the barrier and it's a disaster we've broken our front wing and we're not moving I don't know why I didn't move I took ages to react there and it's an absolute disaster I was hoping for a safety car but no it's only a virtual safety car the rest of the field came to a virtual standstill and we've gone from fifth to last actually make it 21st because Vettel is uh, stuck there as well but we were going three wide here we kind of sandwiched Button me and Vettel and then on the exit I don't even know what happened Button just moves across me he might have got a bit of contact from the Ferrari and there's contact afterwards and the Ferrari I think blocks the whole field it's an absolute disaster for us but I don't think it was our fault, I think we were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. But um, I think he gets a nudge from Vettel and yeah, it's pretty much pinball. I think it's a racing incident really. We'll see on board with Vettel. I think he's going to nudge Button into me. Yes, he does. And now I think he's got nowhere to go on the exit of the center rest. Yeah, he makes slight contact, pushes Button into us. And oh, what the hell's going on with the front wing there? He's practically mounting the McLaren. Gets some damage from the Williams. So we've got to continue now. The VSC is coming to an end. And we need to come into the pits at the end of this lap. So... Yeah, the rest of the field here were really slow and I just wanted to get to the pits as quick as possible and I just dived it up the inside to make up a few positions but Rosberg's down in 18. And in terms of the championship, very interesting. Vettel's at the back, Rosberg's in 17th now as uh, Grosjean overtakes us as we have no downforce at all. So this is Hamilton's chance to potentially win the title. So yeah, 
interesting thing uh, going on at the top, top of the standings in the drivers. So I think, yes, Hulkenberg is leading. So Gutierrez has already lost some positions and we are so slow. We're coming into the pits. Yeah, this could wreck our race. Um, I think we'll have to make a strategic gamble later on to get anywhere near the front where I think we probably deserve. So we pit with the other cars who are damaged, which is Vettel who actually jumps us. Of course, we're having rotten luck in the early stages of this Brazilian Grand Prix. And there's a Sabra head who also pit. So another set of the intermediate tyres. The only thing I can think of is make one less pit stop when the wet weather comes or something like that to get us further up the field. But we've joined the back of this battle between Vettel and I think it's Felipe Nasa here. Yeah, the group of cars who pit early on. But we're getting a fantastic run here. Rich mix, double slipstream. We're going around the outside of Vettel. We should get Nasa here and it's going to be a double overtake up to P20 and off we go. Try and catch up to the rest of the field. We've got contact. Nasa's hit us and everyone is round. It's an absolute disaster. Sebastian Vettel's out the race. What the hell is going on at the start of this race? I've been taken out twice. As you'll see in the replay here, what is Nasa doing? He that looks awful and <laughs> you just see everyone coming in backwards it's absolutely insane let's see on board with the Sauber driver so we go around the outside we definitely take the position and as it just rams into the back of us puts us into the pit wall Vettel spun out and I think uh, the Sauber rebounds into the Ferrari and breaks its suspension we'll see here yeah <laughs> Vettel is just super unlucky there and he's okay ah there we go there's the major contact and unbelievably we have to pit for a second time in two laps uh, uh, it's race over really. I was hoping for a safety car, but no, nothing came out. And we have a broken front wing, so yeah, we definitely have to pit again. We actually re-overtake NASA. Yeah, I was angry at this point. Like, I knew the first uh, pit stop hindered our race, but this second one's just taking us out the running. Our only hope is that we don't go lap down and then a safety car comes out later on because things are not looking good at all. At least we're still going to be ahead of NASA as we deserve, but... Yeah, this could, well, I don't know, it could be a bit of a boring race, really, if we can't catch up to the rest of the pack, but, yeah, stay tuned, guys, it, it does, uh, <laughs> things get a little bit more positive for us, which I think we deserve. So after a great qualifying session, we've been super unlucky in the race and we haven't really had that much contact this season. It seems to all be coming in this race, but we're 45 seconds behind Bottas in 19th. So it's going to be a long slog, but let's see what we can do. If we can make the conditions uh, help us out, use strategy. But uh, yeah, I was hoping for a safety car, just any contact from the AI. And there's a yellow flag behind us. So I'll check the replay. This is Lewis Hamilton, the championship leader, making contact with, of course, Felipe Nasa. And yeah. Lewis Hamilton driving like a champion, he just randomly stops and lets a load of cars through. Uh, I really don't know what's going on there. And actually, at the same time this was going on, Julian Palmer, so unlucky there. I don't know what button was doing rejoining the track there. So, yeah, my teammate had to go into the pits. And that brings him close to me, actually. You can see just ahead of us, two seconds ahead, Julian Palmer. So, a battle of the Renaults, a battle for 19th at the moment. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to score points here for the team, which is a shame. But it took us quite a few laps to uh, catch up to Palmer because he was obviously on fresh intermediate tyres. I was we're getting stretched and uh, losing the important rubber. Well, we go for a move. We were quick in the middle sector, but we don't have the straight line speed. So uh, it should be interesting to see how we do on the uh, start finish straight. The uh, uh, as I like to call the kinky straight. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that's come from. I just started saying that, but Palmer fights back here with his straight line speed and the use of the slipstream into turn one. He's going for the move. This is a bit of an unnecessary battle. We're 12 seconds behind Alonso, so we could gain a few positions if we have a decent run, but fighting each other, <laughs> it gives us an on-track entertainment, but uh, Palmer's still not that far behind, so I don't think he's going to give up. I think he might go for a move again, and he does. He has superior speed, clearly. Going for the move up the inside costing us time in the process but uh yeah he's back up to p19 showing me he is not the uh, number two driver but uh clearly he is the number two driver based on points i've got 99 and i think palmer's got around 24 if i'm not mistaken but of course once again as we come into the middle sector we have the superior car and we dive it up the inside to get the position back p19 is my julian yes julian palmer <laughs> so we continue now to lap 22 and this is my engineer telling me to pit, which is nice of him. But uh, yeah, it was strange. My engineer kept telling me we had heavy rain, but it wasn't heavy enough for wet tyres. And the intermediates felt fine, I've got to say. So I thought about taking a risk, going on to the wets. 
So let's see if we can uh, make it round the track on these tyres. Because if we can't, that definitely confirms we are out the running. But uh, yeah, we're rejoining. The pit exit is very tricky, especially in these conditions and with understeer. But uh, yeah, we seem to be doing all right. And let's see how we uh, plow on as the AI will probably come into wets, onto wet soon, uh, uh, hopefully. Say what? Looks like it's probably about time we change tires. It's a bit of a crossover period for sure, but the longer we stay out, the worse it's going. Well, Mr. Engineer, are you trying to screw me over? Well, I know a man who's got a few words for you. So there we go, it's official. Mr. Jeff has been fired. Goodbye, we will not be hearing from you again. I mean, he's giving me false information there. Go on to the wet, go on to the intermediates, make up your mind. But now, the AI have gone on to the wet tyres. It's definitely the tyre to be on, and we're probably going to be on them for the rest of the race. And we actually finally jump a car, and it's Marcus Ericsson, who's struggling in the Sauber, but... We're only 12 and a half seconds behind Massa, so if we put in a decent stint, we need to close him in, a, in at about a second a lap, which would be tricky, but uh, I wouldn't say it's out the question. And it, there's a bit of a group of cars ahead of us, and finally on the penultimate lap, we have a bit of action. I was lonely for so long, putting in some pretty decent laps, but it didn't seem like I was going to catch up to the group ahead. But now we're going to get so lucky. There's a yellow flag. Something has happened ahead. We're going to get some action in it. The two Haas cars. Gutierrez takes out Grosjean, I mean the same Gutierrez who started on pole position, who was running most of the race in P3, is now like, what, P14 or something, and it's slowed down Massa, his teammate, and Manor and somebody else, so we've got a shot here of making up some positions, we have some on track action, I'm so happy right now, and we're going to try and go for the outside line, the wet line. The old cart in line and Massa, he's been dispatched but we might get blocked here by Grosjean so we actually go for the outside of Grosjean as well as Grosjean slows Massa down, we get Massa and now we're going to look to take the Haas driver and Harry Anto, possibly at the same time but we're looking for alternate lines, these guys are so slow in the wet, no wonder I closed in so quickly, up the inside of Grosjean, up to P16, looking at the minimap I don't think we're going to score any points but this is for some pride, just fighting back. And it actually took a bit of time to get Harry Anto up the inside. Very late move. He left the door open. So I went for it. And snatched P15 off him. And you can see on board with him how late this move was. Just look in the mirror. I just come flying out of nowhere. And Harry Anto, he's driving like an absolute moron. Not good enough. And he loses two positions. Sadly on the final lap though. I couldn't take 14th off Alonso. Just a little bit too far back. But we're coming home at the Brazilian Grand Prix. It's a disappointing P15. Especially from where we qualified. But uh... I suppose if you make two pit stops in the first two laps, you can't really expect too much more. Just unlucky to not get a safety car or something like that. So, Daniel Ricciardo takes the victory from Ragnar and Verstappen. Hulkenberg was in the lead for quite a while, but uh, he has to settle for fourth. And in terms of the championship standings at the top, Rosberg gets fifth, Hamilton seventh, and Vettel didn't even score a point. Did he finish behind us? Actually, no, he retired, didn't he, of course. And there we are in 15th. We still beat our teammate. Um, wherever he is, he must be in P20. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> so, looking at the driver standings, Hamilton has an 11 point lead over Rosberg going into the final race of the season. Vettel, who led the standings for quite a while, is out of it. We're solely in seventh, still looking for that 100 point mark, so uh, need a point in Abu Dhabi. And uh, unless Bottas wins, we are confirmed in seventh position, and I can't honestly see Bottas win in the final race, but anything could happen. It has uh, been pretty interesting this season in terms of, uh, I suppose Sergio Perez won a race, and Gutierrez got pulled, so yeah, I suppose anything can happen. So there's the minor placings in the driver standings. Moving over to the constructors, Mercedes have won... Uh, Obviously, a long time ago. We're in fifth, six points behind Williams. So that battle's going to go on to Abu Dhabi. So the finale of my season one of F1 2016 career. Do check that out when it comes out. Subscribe if you want to see that. Pop up on your subscribe feed or whatever it's called. And I'll catch you in that race. Goodbye.